Hey guys, what's up? Edie Dude here, and today I'm doing something a bit different from normal. I uh, decided to do a little tutorial video because recently it's come to my attention that a lot of people don't know how to do certain things, so in this case today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to fix the textures for Gmod, which seems to be quite a common thing for especially new players to Gmod. Um, basically all it is, I'm just going to go through how to install the textures and how to install some maps that I'm going to include uh, in links in the description below. So yeah guys, uh, let's get started with it. Uh, first of all, this file here is the add-ons. This is the most important one for the texture fix. Um, it includes the textures and a few extra maps. Now this isn't necessarily important, I just decided to include maps with it so it would help some of you players out. Um, this one, of course, this this hasn't been uh, sorted yet, like I haven't managed to get this one working so I'm not going to include it. Uh, it's just some Half-Life 2 textures that also included in Gmod. Um, if you have bought Half-Life 2, uh, Episode 2 and Counter-Strike Source, you would you, you shouldn't have any need to watch this video because the texture should automatically install. However, if you are getting the texture glitch, which is basically the pink and black checkered squares, uh, just imagine like a lighter version of my Minecraft skin. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go, if you've got Windows 8, uh, you usually go to this, it's called this PC, now I have a shortcut on my desktop. However, you can access the little side menu here if you don't have a desktop link and just type in this PC and there we go, we just click this PC. Um, I should bring this up. What you're going to want to do is just drag this to one side, probably makes things easier. Um, now you're going to want to go into your Steam folder which is located on drive C, in this case it says Acer for me. Um, program files you want to find Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you just got to find Gary's Mod, and then of course there's another Gary's Mod there, and then you should have an add-ons folder. Now mine, of course, has already got a uh, few add-ons and of course the texture files which you need. Um, of course, this one isn't working yet, so that's just 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 there for the meanwhile. So what you're going to want to do is the two folders which you saw in here before. You're just going to want to just simply take them out of here, do what you like with them, just drag them to your desktop or drag them straight from here into this folder, add-ons folder. Um, usually if you don't if you don't have an add-ons folder, if you're like if you've just got the game, um, you haven't got a few add-ons yet, you're just going to want to make an add-ons folder, make sure it's all lowercase and then just a uh, text document as well, just a blank text document, type add-ons uh, and then just drag them in. And that that should be the text. That it's it's as simple as that. Texture glitch fixed. Um, and then Gmod should be fine. And that includes the maps. Obviously, you just drag the maps in here. Uh, the extra maps, however, go in a different place. Now they may work in the add-ons. I haven't tried it. However, of course, because these are maps that I've collected over the many servers I've played on, you're gonna want to go into download uh, maps, and then the maps that are within. What you're going to want to do with this one, it's a bit different. You're going to want to open this and then kind of just highlight them all, drag them in, and then, yeah. Uh, and then that's them installed too. Uh, it's that simple. Um, same goes for this when I get it working. I will possibly add a link, a download link for this in the description, like an, an update kind of when I get it working. Uh, if not, I will most likely post a link maybe on Twitter uh, so if you if you're really bothered about the links or it, it's the same thing as the add-ons so if if you can find the textures elsewhere then feel free to just do the same technique there um, yeah it's as simple as that uh, I don't really know how much more to explain it if you're having problems uh, feel free to leave comments and down below and I'll see if I can help you out um, on a side note, I think I've encountered some problem recently with a friend who I was helping do this. Uh, if you have 
an Nvidia graphics card and you get it if you're getting a 3D um, sort of a 3D effect to Gmod. Uh, I found that this the easiest way to fix the problem is to just simply uninstall something called Nvidia 3D Vision I believe inside control panel but that's just in case any of you watching just ha so happen to be having the same problems. In a completely unrelated note, I should probably just point out uh, there is a new Gmod episode on the way. It's in the making. It's been in the making for the last two days, kind of in the editing stage. Uh, it should be out sometime soon, so if any of you just so happen to be looking forward to watching it, then look forward to it, I guess, because it'll be ready soon. Um, also, Minecraft videos, I haven't stopped them, and I haven't done them in a while. I've just been a bit of a Gmod mood re for recording, so I've been playing that a lot. Um, I was planning to do some sort of Minecraft multiplayer let's play or something along those lines. I'm not too sure about that at this moment in time, but I'll keep you updated if any of you are interested. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, other than that, that's pretty much the tutorial for you. Uh, it's It really is that simple. Of course, download links to these two files will be in the description. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.